Welcome everyone. So we are finishing off October, moving into November, and these are the months of powerful and powerful intense energies and a lot of shocking disclosures. But today we're going to talk about something else. So I'm Sandra Alexei, and I am one of the co-authors of Game Changer. Game Changer is a new model of relationships, okay? It's all about self-discovery because the first relationship we have is with ourselves, okay? First chapter is all interactive exercises, so you learn about yourself. If you'd like to order it, if you go right to the top, you'll see it there and you can go to Amazon or you can get, get it through Freezen. <clears throat> It also comes in audio, hardcover, soft card, cover, and ebook. Okay, so that's game changer. Now, for myself, okay, I am a spiritual and business coach. Okay, if you look underneath in the show me part, you will actually see my website. It's my personal muse. Uh, so I've been doing this for about 50 years. I combine astrology, numerology, um, different energy signature codes and, and things and so I work with uh, a bit who you are what's happening in the in the planetary cycles and where are we going <clears throat> very interesting times right now and I had talked about this since 2007 the changes we would go through okay what I would really appreciate is if you would like and if you would share this and subscribing will assist you in um, being notified when I do more videos. I also have a Facebook page, so everything I do on video is written is on either Game Changer or my personal news or my personal Facebook page in case you want to print it off for dates and stuff. Also, if you put a comment in once a month, I do a draw, and so somebody gets a free mini reading. Okay, so today what we're going to talk about, I need to find my glasses here, is Diwali. And Diwali is a Hindu festival held in honor of Lakshima. And Lakshima, this is my Lakshima. She's very, very pretty, okay? And then I have her sit on her little thing. Okay, we'll talk about it. And I only learned about this a few years ago and really got into it. I found it very beautiful. I had met somebody that was celebrating it, okay? So Lakshima is the goddess of wealth. It's celebrated in October or November with the lighting of lamps in homes and temples and with prayers to Lakshima. Thursday, November the 4th, the same day as the Scorpio new moon, okay, we will celebrate Diwali, which is one of the most festive and beautiful times of the year, also on this new moon. Okay, so I'm going to do a separate video on the new moon because this is powerful and we're moving into the eclipse season. Now the part of it is it it's it's the darkest night of the darkest period and yet it is the celebration of light as Diwali is heralded as the triumph over good over evil which we need to look collectively and that's what we're doing. That's why for me it's so important. The meaning of Diwali, its symbols and rituals, and the reason for celebrating are innumerable. Diwali is a festival of light, dispelling the darkness of our ignorance. It is a festival of the light which shows us the way on our journey through life. The purpose is to glorify the light of God, as he is the one who bestows the real light, the everlasting light upon darkness of the mundane world. Homes are decorated with lanterns, which signifies God's light penetrating through the ignorance and sin of our daily lives. They signify the divine light shining its way through the mundane world. The light of Diwali should be within us as it symbolizes the personal relationship between God, divine, 
in our families. Let the light penetrate inward, for only there will it have lasting benefit. Many blessings and much love. It's a great time to have a private session or reading. Let me assist you in looking at all the planetary shifts, your nodal axis position, retrograde planets, energies for any understanding. Again, thank you so much for taking the time uh, to share this with me as I share it with you. Uh, and subscribe to the YouTube channel, share, okay, put a comment, you you might, um, your name will be put in for the draw, and um, like, got it. And so, um, another thing is, these make really, really good, I just started my Christmas shopping today, these are great, great gifts, okay. Um, and it's like game changer how to love with your head instead of your heart and it's interesting because somebody said well why would you do that because we're moving into the Aquarian energy okay and so the Aquarian energy is more impersonal okay and so it's all about balancing the head in the, the head okay and the heart the left right brain the, the head the heart and the hair so we come in more as a whole being so Aquarian energy is all about self-efficiency and I will do a full one just on that and there are some on the notes but anyway thank you for taking your time and happy Diwali and then wait for this powerful new moon much love and many blessings